everybody. Welcome back to All Day Tea Party. I'm your host, Snowy Goodman, and here we're going to figure life out together, ask the big questions, learn more about ourselves, and remember not to take ourselves too seriously in the process. Welcome to our very first video episode. I'm actually really excited about this. I was just like, you know what? I want to change things up, and I like wanted to do an activity with you guys, so it felt like we were in this together. I know I promised going on a walk, but like the lighting was so bad and it was so like ugh, and dreary outside by the time I like got outside to do a walk. So we're doing something different. We're gonna cook dinner together. Um, I actually got this recipe from HelloFresh um, because I didn't have any food and I needed to cook. So we are making meatballs and creamy onion gravy. So let's hop right into it while we do the episode. So first thing is pop culture update, Vanderpump Rules. That's honestly the only show I'm really watching right now, but I'm like actually kind of shocked at how this season is going. Like I did not expect this in that like, I just didn't expect for the cast to just like lack sympathy and empathy for Ariana. Like I'm very confused as to like why that's happening in the way it is. Like, you know what I mean? Again. I'm not buying this whole Tom Sandoval redemption arc. Like, I think it is just nonsense. Like, and to this day, like Tom has not taken accountability for anything he did. Said, I'm just like a little shocked as to like how all of this is going. Like, I really thought we were gonna be in Ariana's corner and Tom Sandoval was gonna be the one that's like getting this heat, but he's not. And again, like this, all of this happened like less than, what, three, four, like about three, four months after everything happened. So I don't know. I just think like a lot of the cast is behaving not cute right now. And then last week I watched the like Vanderpump Rules like after the show, just like see what the tea is. And it's like, nobody is backpedaling. Um, I'm specifically pointing out Miss Lala. Um, but I don't know, that was very interesting. I hope Ariana finds better friends because these people kind of suck. Except Katie and James and Allie. I like them this season. Pop culture, Miss Gypsy Rose is getting a divorce. Did we see that, guys? I did. Um, honestly, good for her. Like, I feel like she definitely deserves to, like, figure her life out without any like, you know, anybody influencing her. Like, I don't know, I'm really happy for her. I hope she's happy and healthy. But, you know, the Gypsy Rose Blanchard news just like keeps coming in. Like, oh my gosh. I started with pop culture because I feel like I have a lot of life updates. Um, so that's that on pop culture stuff. I, so back to the life updates, sorry guys. It, this is like kind of a hard episode to do because I'm trying to do one thing and like also do this. So like bear with me friends. But anyways, um, so as we all know, Zenobia got into grad school and she's going to grad school, which is a little bit of a sleigh, which means we're leaving Boston. So this past week I brought some stuff home like down from Boston. I made that drive, yes I did. Um, the drive from Boston to like Maryland slash DC. When I tell you guys, it was actually awful. Like, honestly, I think a big part of it was the fact that like the weather was bad in mass and like not super great in Connecticut. And then it was like rainy. But then like, um, by the time I was like driving through major cities like Baltimore, DC, like it was rush hour. So I truly think that's what it is. Like I just kind of timed it weird, but overall, like not really a good time. I'm going to be honest with you. And towards the end of the ride, like, cause I did the drive by myself. So like I was kind of getting delirious. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Podcast, shout out Benchtopia. At a point, I like, at a point, like the host would be talking and like discussing something, and I would be like discussing it with them. Like I was there. Like it was so weird. Like I was, it was like I said, I was losing my marbles by the time I got here. Like I was talking to the podcast host, like having weird parasocial conversations with them. But that has been my like hyper fixation podcast lately. Like for a long time, it was You're Wrong About, still amazing podcast. And then there's this other podcast I listened to called Behind the Bastards. So that was really good. Um, I, I really like podcasts that have like longer series and Behind the Bastards did have like a good amount of those. And now it's Benchtopia. Um, it's amazing to listen to when you're in traffic and like the host, it feels like you're just talking to your friends. So yeah, <laughs> but that was my drive. Again, like not 
wouldn't recommend like it's not super great i didn't exactly enjoy it i mean the last time i made that drive i mean granted i was not the one driving let's start there um was almost two years ago now so i guess i forgot like how tiring it was but again i was not driving that time lol i am going to spain for a month I'm going on vacation. It's going to slay so hard. I'm really excited. I never got to study abroad because COVID. And now I feel like I'm kind of getting a chance to like gallivant around Europe for a month. And I feel like I'm probably not going to be able to do this again for a while. You know what I mean? Very, very excited. I'm going with one of my besties. And then another one of our friends is like meeting us there too. So I think it's going to be a really good time. I... Like I said, I'm just excited to go back to Europe, honestly. Like the last time I was in Europe was on a family vacation to Italy in like 2016. Like it was a long time ago. And then um, I just like, I don't know. I just really haven't had a ton of time to be like traveling out of the country. Um, I Last time I did, I went to Barbados with my family. But again, like family vacation, like I haven't really had a trip out of the country that was simply for like recreation with the girlies where i'm gonna be like having fun we're still gonna do an episode or maybe two i haven't quite decided yet um in like when i'm in spain i'm gonna be in madrid and barcelona so we're going to have our a special guest on the episode or episodes i haven't quite decided yet but yeah so don't worry you guys are still getting your content fixed i'm sorry i can just be like a little inconsistent with content i just like eight million things going on like you know what i mean like i am trying to do a thousand and one things and do them well so sometimes things get kind of left behind if you're picking up what i'm throwing down but back to Spain. So for those of you who are into astrocartography, um, I was like looking at my chart. Also, okay, wait, for those of you who don't know what astrocartography is, let's start there. So astrocartography is basically, from my understanding, like you're showing your birth chart, but like with the globe. So it's kind of showing like how placements in your birth chart have to do with like places that on the globe like countries cities whatever 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 that you may resonate with or that may resonate with your chart astrologically so i was looking at my chart in one of my lines i cannot remember what it is i really think it might have been either my sun or my venus like i'm gonna look into that um go straight through madrid which is honestly a little exciting because I think this like kind of trip just has the potential to be like kind of, you know, a spiritual reset. And even if it's, you know, not all that I'm, you know, even if it's not that, I think it'll just be fun and vacation. And it'll probably be the last time I'll be able to vacation like that until I'm done with my master's because I'm going to be busy in school and working and making money. So there's that. But outside of that, I'm actually really excited to like oops, wrong burner, tap into like my creativity. Like I've made Pinterest boards. I feel like I'm going to have a lot of time on my hands so I won't be working for a month, which is the longest I haven't worked since I've started working like a corporate job, like I'll say like two years ago. Um, so I plan on bringing my coloring books, my books. One of the families of like the kids I babysit for, the mom got me like a journal, which I thought was like really sweet. And you know, just to kind of write down my thoughts and I kind of want to journal every single day and I have my cheeky little digital camera. So maybe we'll do a scrapbooking moment. That's like weirdly something I've always wanted to do but I feel like I haven't done it. And I've definitely mentioned this on the pod before, but I feel like a lot of the times I'm really into like making content or like doing the podcast or like doing like digital or like canvas or like vision boards, sorry, Pinterest boards, stuff like that. I'm very into doing like digital creativity, like activities, but um, not as much like physical creativity. So I feel like a scrapbook or like coloring and stuff like that would honestly like be very good for me. actually a really good cook and I enjoy cooking but you know 
again, like one of those things I haven't really been able to do a lot because I've been like super busy, but this week I got HelloFresh and I've been following recipes and like I don't like to listen to anybody ever. So like following a recipe is a bit like of a change for me, you know what I mean? But anyways, I'm also like really excited to read my books and just exist like oh i'm really excited guys like i literally can't say enough like how much i feel like this is going to be like really really good for me um i feel like it's exactly what i need at this point in time in my life and i'm just ready to do that this episode so today's episode is the fact that i'm addicted to my phone guys like oh, there we go genuinely like i realized like the other day when like i was it's just like hard because as like a pseudo content creator i'm usually always on my phone and then um i have to set boundaries like with myself like regarding um like how much i need to be on my phone but again like it's just so easy to like scroll on tiktok and like Guys, when I tell you, I feel like my brain is literally rotting. Like, and sometimes, like, it's just hard when you're consuming so much content, like, creatively to be like, okay, like, what are we going to talk about, like, on the pod this week? Because it's like, I'm seeing so much stuff. And it's like, okay, well, I feel like everybody's already talked about that. And I feel like, in a way, like, this weird phone addiction, I guess you could call it, is like, stunts my own like creativity in a way like you know what I mean and like I don't like that feeling I like to come up with like original ideas and like that is like very important to me so again it's like that whole like oh my god it's that whole like setting boundaries moment like when it comes to my phone which is harder to do than I realized and like I said, like, it's super easy for me, like, to start feeling like my brain is mush, and I really don't like that feeling. So something that I wish to incorporate is I want to, like, do no social media after, like, 9, 30, 10, or before 9, 30, 10 in the morning. I feel like that's just a way to, like, get that content time down. I mean, I've tried doing that before, but, like, I just... I have not been disciplined in it let's put it that way like I just kind of I flop I just I flop and which is okay but you know I just kind of need to like actually really hold myself accountable um when it comes to that kind of stuff because ah no 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 we're back to what I was saying before we were rudely interrupted um it's just like I really want to get into the idea of just like analyzing media on my own like let's bring back analysis like you know like deciding what I think about something before looking up what people on TikTok think about it you know what I mean um and just kind of and I mean granted like I am an autonomous person like I'm very opinionated I have my own opinions about a lot of things but it's like you know sometimes I don't need to fact check with TikTok like you know what I mean even like little things like you know do I want to go to this restaurant maybe I can just figure it out myself like you know so especially like videos about like TV and like music and movies just like media in that sense like just um being able to be like mm, I'm going to form my own opinion before seeing what the TikTok brigade, brigade, ugh, what the TikTok brigade has to say. And like my final point about like the phone thing is I feel like it's really easy, especially for me. And like, let me know if you relate to this as well. Like it's super easy for me to be like, oh, like, let me go on my phone. It's like instant gratification. Like, you know what I mean? Rather than like, you know, even if I really want to like read my book or something, I'll be like, oh, I'll go on my phone. Like it's just instantly I will get like whatever stimuli it is that I'm looking for. Um, when in reality, like. I could pro I'll probably like it more if I just read my cheeky little book and honestly like staring at your phone so long is like really bad for your eyes like genuinely like I have to wear like my blue light glasses basically all the time either like my actual glasses or my blue light glasses like all the time like if I'm driving at night I have to wear them because like the flash and like if I'm using my phone or even watching tv I have to wear them and this is a new development like within the last like six months or so and at first I thought I was being dramatic, but like genuinely my eyes will start to hurt if I am not wearing them. So again, the effects of being addicted to your phone. 
because I definitely think like it is a problem and I do want to make going on my phone less a habit and I feel like I say that a lot like I've been saying that for like ever you know what I mean but I'm actually like ready to apply myself because like it's affecting my eyesight my concentration is absolute garbage and I just don't think it's as good for me as it used to be my dishes right now but like I said like I feel like phone in like um, just being on my phone a lot has kind of just like fried my brain and I feel like something that I think we're missing as a society is like media literacy and I just want to make sure that I am literate in media <laughs> like, if that makes sense and I just can feel like just staring at a little box screen like all day is like really like impacting me in that way so like like I said, like it's a little hard, like as a content creator, when like literally your phone is your lifeline and you do everything on your phone. But you know, if there's a will, there's a way. So I would rather like wake up early and get stuff done and like use my phone less than like constantly be on my phone like a little bit during the day. Like you know what I mean? So that's kind of where I'm at with that. Like everything's all done. We're gonna plate. Honestly, guys, I really like HelloFresh. Like I feel like it is a it's like an exposure therapy lesson for like my control issues and it like forces me to be like okay like we're gonna listen to somebody else and like the food's gonna taste good and it usually does so like it makes me really happy to like feel like I'm relinquishing some control in a way like I can rely on HelloFresh you feel me that I plated I'm very excited to eat this actually tells it actually smells really, really good. Um, thanks for hanging, though. I am mature enough to admit that this was a little chaotic to make, but I actually really enjoyed it. So let me know if you enjoyed it. And if you didn't enjoy it, also let me know. Um, I like to switch things up with you guys. But yeah, like really, really excited. Happy to be here. I will be doing more blogs. I promise. I need to like just discipline guys discipline because I need to just be like, OK, this is what I'm doing. I said I was doing this. This is what I'm doing. Um, I need to just like start doing the content things I say I'm gonna do because if I was anybody else, I'd be like, girl, you said you were gonna do this. So I need to keep myself in track. That's what I need to do. Um, but that's that. Thank you for hanging again. Um, this was lovely, this was fun. I'm gonna go eat and watch Vanderpump Rules. Um, again, don't forget to spill tea all day, learn more about yourself, ask the big questions, and remember not to take yourself too seriously in the process. I'll see y'all in Spain, bye.